was the annual act of remembrance, but one which this year looked so very different, just as it was for the Prince of Wales and Duchess of Cornwall who arrived with masks at Westminster Abbey. The planned service here for 2,000 people was scaled back to just 80, each spaced apart. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. And this was the reason they had gathered here, the grave of the unknown warrior. Exactly a hundred years ago, the body of a soldier, name and rank unknown, was chosen in secret from one of the many World War I battlefields. On November the 11th, 1920, King George V placed flowers on the coffin and then unveiled the new stone cenotaph for the very first time. The king followed the coffin on foot to its grave in Westminster Abbey. Today, Prince Charles placed a wreath at the grave, a replica of the one his great-grandfather laid on the coffin a century ago. After the body of the unknown warrior was laid here in his final resting place, onto the coffin, King George scattered soil from the Western Front. So many were the grieving widows and grieving mothers at that time, more than a million people filed past this grave in the days which followed. There was thousands and thousands of family being in that position, and the unknown warrior gave them something to grieve over. And despite 2020's COVID restrictions, people did still fall silent across the country. And for those veterans who couldn't attend ceremonies, they held their own at home. A different Armistice Day to the one planned, but remember, we still did. Chris Shipp, ITV News, Westminster Abbey.